was actually the first time Leo and Tweak have fought, right? I believe so, yeah. In Ultimate, at least, yeah. So, Dude, that is dope. I mean, I feel like even in Smash 4, I feel like there's certain people that never got to play each other. So yeah. it's, it's going to take a while to get all the matches possible, uh, at least in this region. But there we go. Oh, wow. Already getting things started here. All right, so... To my knowledge, there's no Olimar quite to uh, I'm Hips level that's in the A18 area, right? Yeah, I don't think so. There's, yeah. Or at least any that go to like Hat or the locals that tend to go see. There are not a lot of Olimars, I will say that much. <laughs> yeah, which is so interesting because Olimar is a very strong character, but not the most popular. It's uh, it's, it's really interesting. It, nothing like, like Wolf is a very strong character that's popular. Olimar doesn't really fit in that category, but... I yeah, mean, that just might be generally the SoCal's playstyle coming into play because right, right. Well, we, we used to be the land of Meta Knights and Foxes, like very strong, fast aggro characters. Olimar, you know, likes to keep his pace of the match, keep things slow, throw his Pikmin, just deteriorate his opponent until he's finally in like kill throw range or smash attack range and just takes the stock really easily. And he's got two blues online, so we might potentially see him throw sooner or later. Yeah, and the white Pikmin got on it. Didn't do too much damage there. Gonna have the purple on deck though, and yeah, I like how I'm hip just rotates the purple and just throws it towards the center of the stage. Really good Pikmin <laughs> management from I'm hip. All right, gets rid of the yellow Pikmin. How does I'm hip get back? Just uses the platform and just navigates through Zenyu. Fun! Mm. Ooh, that, that Fox Trot into the down smash almost worked out there, but uh, I'm hip still living that. Yeah, I'm hip gonna get back on the stage here, and yeah, that mistech could have been very, very crucial. He does end up back on stage. He does, did take a lot more damage, but he still got this stock. Yeah. All right, the hitbox planks with Monique, and that time Zenyu saw his opportunity while he was trying to recollect himself. Get that back here. Down smash? Oh no, back here? It was like dash, like really quick back here. It was so fast. Zenyu with that insta raw game. Oh wow, Nair to down throw here. Ooh, tries to go for that fair dunk, but not gonna go, or I'm not gonna get it. And I like the cross up with the Nair as well. Zenyu really, really utilizing Mario's air mobility. Gets that up smash. We continue on his aggression here. Oh, <laughs> hey, when, you, when your up smash combos into up smash, baby. Yeah, it's a kill move. It combos into itself. Does shield pressure. It's a one of a kind tool in this game. Hits both sides of you, so it gives you cross up protection. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, it is quite something else. Oh, okay. And the forward throw here. And pretty powerful lineup, honestly. Ooh, does not. Get the kill, the white gets thrown away here, but we still got, oh, this is the dream team right here, the yeah. double purple <laughs> and the one blue. Yeah, in case you want to get that kill throw in, just keeping all of them on stage, uses the purple Pikmin. Of course, it is a constant hitbox, so you do have to protect yourself from that rather than it latching onto you, and just like that, can use it to get out of some pretty sticky situations, return back to neutral, and, you know, again, play old Mars game. Keep that distance and just make sure you slowly rack up that damage and potentially get the kill just like that with that pressure on the stage. Yeah, really great drop from I'm Hip. Actually had the uh, the blue on deck and was kind of faking out a grab and was able to force the jump from Zenyu and was able to clean it out with that back air. Really nice stuff from I'm Hip. Yeah. And of course, that's what, another thing you see Olimar do. Toss the Pikmin while you're recovering because Olimar does have a bit of a more vulnerable recovery, but he has those Pikmin available to be able to protect himself. Of course, that's good management from I'm Hip to keep the purple that long to protect himself while recovering. Because if you use like a red or a yellow or something to protect yourself, it's not going to work out. Then you can just easily counteract that. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm hip, sitting on a very free lead here. And the uh, two purples and white. I mean, like two purples and anything. Ooh, the down smash. Two purples on both sides, but not going to finish the job. <laughs> wow, the down air is going to finish him off. Not spiking him, but going to finish him off horizontally there. And I'm hip with a very solid game one victory. Yo, man, maybe I should play Olimar. I've been losing with I, all these aggro characters. Maybe this is my answer. <laughs> I, I literally tried playing Olimar one day. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to sell out. I'm doing it now. I don't care. And then uh, I got so bored after the first stock. The first stock of my <laughs> first game, I was just like, this is not fun. <laughs> uh, I mean, after Frostbite, I mean, it was the only character where two of those characters were in the top eight. Yeah, so I believe that's the first top eight at like a very big tournament that we had duplicates of a character. Yeah, if so. I'm not mistaken. Oh, boom! 
Oh, I mean, that stock is not going to get duplicated. Yes. That was quite a start for Zenyu to take out. And that's what you got to do. You got to keep Olimar in that disadvantaged uh, position. And when Olimar can't really land as soon as he starts getting juggled. So that's when Mario can really start to go to town and really get things going. Just like right now, potentially might get another one, but he air dodges through that yeah. time. I'm him says, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, and at, at this point, I'm just trying to get back on the stage. Zenyu only taking 35% on his very first stock as well. The parry up smash will get the job done, but no follow-up. The cape gonna avert that. Oh, man. Yo, dang. Yo, Zenyu mad. Zenyu is tight right now. Like, he, he got body that game one. He was just like, I, I'm, I gotta body this guy. Just sorry. Oh, that purple pick is trying to be a great anti-air to keep Zenyu off stage and away from him trying to start his aggression. Ooh, that down smash puts himself. Yeah, good thing he did not get grabbed there. That's not a good spot to get grabbed from Mario. Didn't get all those kind of setups into the down, or in, yeah, into the forward air, and we've seen Zenyu really take advantage of that. Oh, nice reset here. I gotta go for the fair, just going for this. He's safe. Good damage up airs here coming up. Yeah, you know, he's up two whole stocks basically, and he's almost overlapped. Yeah, Unless that kills, yes, it will. The blue Pikmin up throw. One of the uh, more consistent ways of killing as Olimar. Yeah. Oh, it got the juggles going. Not gonna be able to get anything else. Tries to get the four smash, but just spots out just to get the down smash. I hit really trying to bring this back. Wow, that fair just goes right through, and that dare was almost be able to take it. And he almost tried to clip him with the back air as he was drifting back down, but I'm hit just barely staying out of range. Oh, wait a minute. The anti air forward smash from I'm hit, especially with the purple online. Very, very strong moves. Okay, but then you're going to find his opening. Going to get this nair drifting in as well. Ooh, the dash attack. Going to clear out some pigment or at least get some damage on him. What's the lead trap here, though? I'm hip waiting. It should be a re-grab here. He's got to go high. Yeah. But, yeah, if you go high and swing like that, you're not going to be able to make it back. He has to go up and over him and land on him with him on with Nair. Maybe that's why Zenyu Shield was down, because he knew at that point, like, oh, if you hit me at this angle, like, you're just dead. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I'm hip was bagging on trying to make it back to the stage. But, right, of course, when you, yeah, when you throw out, like, an aerial towards the ledge, there's a certain amount of time. You have to wait for the move to actually finish everything in the animation before you can grab it. So that was just a place where you just could not make it back. So we're going 1-1 here. Going back to the same stage. Pokemon Stadium 2 N. <laughs> is going to be the standard here. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if the whole set was on Pokemon Stadium 2. Both players looking like they completely agree with the stage. As the fireball approaches are going to be uh, one of Zenyu's main tools for getting in. You know, when you are that approach character and you have nothing to approach with, it can be really tough. But Mario definitely one of those well-rounded characters, and he doesn't want to get in, but he also has some projectiles he can come in with. Ooh, catches the directional air dodge. Not going to be able to make it back from that. I'm hit with just in the prime position to start waiting. It's like, okay, I got a bunch of picking on you. Yeah, I know you're taking the damage, and you're going to try and figure a way to come back, and I'm just going to wait it out. Almost catching that landing as well, but already 74% here on I'm hit, but Zenyu's got to make something happen, man. He's already at 25% and the, oh, and it's ticking, and wow, so much damage off of the Pikmin tick as he's getting comboed as well. I mean, I think a big part of it was that in the beginning of the second game, Zenyu was just able to get something started before I'm hit was able to get his Pikmin loadout that he wanted, but this right. time around, I have had the time to actually get what he needed to start that damage and start that combo yeah. and uh, get that air guard if he needed. So this is one of those situations where it's like a setup character and you don't allow him to set up and you'll be working fine yeah, right it, now. <laughs> it, it, it's really tough. And the thing about Almar too is, okay, finally, going to get that stock at 160%. But it's almost like a ticking time bomb, too, because the longer you fight Almar, the more chances of just you're going to have to deal with double purple and some other big thing. Yeah. I mean, basically, the longer you fight Olimar, you're, you're basically taking guaranteed damage. I feel like there's no way really to avoid the the Pikmin throws. You're right. gonna get damaged by it eventually. So. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to minimize it at best, but there's no way you're not going through a whole like game without taking any yeah, damage. Exactly. Makes it a very strong character indeed. Well, yeah, we got two Moniques and a, a blue right now. I like the, the like the cape right there. If he reflects them off stage and potential that they could just like wither away. So that's good. There's the landing. No, the grab not gonna come out in time here for Zenyu. Alright, got him off stage one more time. 
I'm gonna clip him with the last hit of that coin. Very smart from Zenyu. Gonna get that up throw though. That's gonna be in the next stock. Yep, we'll see if Zenyu can bring it back here. This is looking this game is looking generally pretty grim. And in terms of like the other games too, like Zenyu had way better games than this. Back here to take out the blue here and the forward smash to seal out the stock. Zenyu's gonna be right back in this game. Yep, keeping things close right here before I make could start to steamroll that last stock and get a lead that's difficult to come back from. He's gotta get a hit in. Alright, double dare, I like it. Yeah, now he's at that 21%. I feel like if he gets a grab now, it's gonna be big, big damage. Waiting patiently for that to happen, but looks like I'm hip is not taking that risk. Using that fair, using those hitboxes just to keep Zenyu out. And again, just getting those great anti-airs, basically taking uh, those fares out before Zenyu even thinks about jumping. And by the time he's already in the air, he's already getting swatted out. Exactly, but the purple up air will we'll seal it out here for I'm hip. Gonna go up 2-1 here against Zenyu. And I feel like Zenyu had such control in the beginning, and it just slowly started falling out of his favor. All right, so 2-1, I'm hit. This is losing semi, so it's still a best of five. So then you still has hope. And we have seen even Master Mario take the sets up. Well, a singular set off, I'm hit. So yep. it, it, it is possible. We'll just have to see if then you can uh, make the adjustments he needs. Did he go back to the same stage? Nope, we are on Battlefield. Okay. Go! All right, so pretty big change here. Um, we're gonna have that middle platform that's uh, much higher than the other ones. Uh, this can be really good for Zenyu, I feel like, just because you have all those, you know, combo extensions on both platforms, on both platform levels there. We'll see if I'm hip will fall for any of it, or kind of know when the setups are coming. Right. I right, picked him up with the up air. I able to get anything else, though. Keeping him at the ledge, though, trying to use those nares to solve the hitboxes. Keep him off stage, but I'm just able to make it through with that landing there. Okay, there's another landing air. Oh, almost gets the pick up on the grab. Wow, doesn't even wait for a tech. He just snatches him up right as he can. Oh, the, the purple Pikmin into the run fair. He, he was ready for that to actually hit confirm. Yeah. Oh, man, another spaced forward smash. And Zenyu is catching a lot of players sleeping on that right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, purple Pikmin is going to have the shortest range on that S smash. So Mario's range is going to be a little bit stronger in that specific scenario. Oh, wow. And the down air coming out from the blue pigmen. And, and I mean, the, the blue pigmen, they don't only kill off grab, man. Sometimes they can get that dirt, the yeah. dirty dare. Maybe <laughs> really up, up tilt. Maybe a pick up there, but man, it's just so hard, too, because I mean, Zenyu has been getting in, but essentially they changed all of Mars aerials, and they're pretty much swords now. You can't <laughs> contest those pigmen, they are straight up disjoints. Oh, and the pivot four smash. That's the danger of yeah. trying to make it back to the stage rather than going to the ledge. That's just susceptible to things like that. But of course, things like Olimar up smash are projectiles, so you can't cake them and reverse them if you need to. It's just very situational to know when they're exactly going to forward smash up smash. Maybe right, get exactly. that. Yeah. Definitely got to get that young heart. Here's a new fair to bring him back out. Yeah, that's another thing too that's really great about Almar just waiting on the ledge as well. You, you're waiting for your Pikmin to run back at you or your Pikmin to like, I guess, respawn. But it, I mean, if you're coming off the angle platform, you don't get a respawn. But yeah. Now, can you dodge all of these up smashes? Oh, the purple's so, so good. But he had to sacrifice one of the purples there. I like at least that Zenyu's using these planking hitbox to try and uh, counteract the control position, especially. But still, here we go. Tech chase situation. Puts him again off stage with those fares and just walks away. He knows that Zenyu's trying to make his way back. He's using those aggressive aerials to try and reversal at the same time. And it's not going to work against the character. Like, I'm hit, but goes ahead and gets a run down smash. Yeah, and I feel like Zenyu has been doing that a lot more than usual lately. Uh, definitely a great option here for Zenyu. Has been working out for him. The play going to get. Almar off stage here and the up throw combo. Yes, he's gonna keep it going here with the combo extension of the platforms. No. Oh, he did the falling up air and even got the late hit of fair, but wasn't able to get the meter that he might have potentially wanted. Oh, parry into the grab. Not quite gonna work out there. Yeah, so so close. Had to go for the pivot grab there. And now I hit back on stage. This is really troublesome. The two purples and the blue, the dream team lineup is here. Yeah, he's not throwing that blue. He knows he wants that grab. Only tries to go for it right there, but Zenyu not going to give him that roll. Oh, man, the 
Purple pressure is so, so good on block, especially. Oh, man. The, the shield was whittling down, so can you even blame Zenyu for trying to go for that jump? It was so, so hard. Just a runoff bear on that platform, and then Zenyu tried to jump out of that pressure, knowing that the shield is going down. Because jump is one of the more quicker options to get out of shield. Right. That just doesn't quite work out there. All right, so we got Sweet T coming up onto the stage on stream for you guys. Yep. They're just immediately going right into it. Also, shoutouts to... Uh, oh, what's up? Okay, sure. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break before this next set starts, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, okay, guys? All right.